How to file ISF for toe lasting machines. Welcome back to our customs and trade video series. Today, we're diving into the topic of filing an importer security filing, ISF, for toe lasting machines. If you're an importer involved in the footwear industry, this is an essential process to ensure smooth customs clearance and compliance. So, let's get started. First, let's understand what exactly an ISF is. An importer security filing is a document that must be submitted to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for any ocean shipment coming to the United States. It provides crucial information about the cargo, its origins, and the parties involved in the shipment. To file an ISF for tow-lasting machines, there are several key pieces of information that you need to provide. These include the manufacturer or supplier's name and address, the shipper's name and address, the buyer or importer's name and address, the consolidator's or forwarder's name and address, and the ultimate consignee's name and address. Additionally, you'll need to obtain a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures compliance with customs regulations and payment of any applicable duties and fees. It is an essential requirement when filing an ISF and throughout the entire customs clearance process. Once you have gathered all the necessary information and obtained a customs bond, you can go ahead and file the ISF. There are several methods you can use to file your ISF, including through a licensed customs broker or an approved software provider. It is important to ensure accuracy and timeliness when submitting your ISF to avoid any penalties or delays. Working with a licensed customs broker can greatly simplify the ISF filing process. Customs brokers are experts in customs regulations and procedures. They can assist you in navigating the complexities of customs clearance, including filing the ISF, preparing customs documentation, calculating duties and taxes, and ensuring compliance with all regulations. After your ISF has been filed and the shipment arrives at a U.S. port, the CBP may select your shipment for examination. This is part of their risk assessment and enforcement efforts. If selected, the CBP may inspect the cargo to verify its contents and ensure compliance with all applicable regulations. Finally, it's important to note that the ISF filing requirements are applicable to all types of goods being imported into the United States, not just tow-lasting machines. Whether you're importing footwear, electronics, or any other product, compliance with ISF regulations is crucial for smooth customs clearance and avoiding penalties. That wraps up our deep dive into filing an ISF for tow-lasting machines. Remember, accurate and timely filing of the ISF, along with working with a licensed customs broker, will help ensure a smooth customs clearance process. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.